If this is your first professional recording program, chances are you're going to find this concept new, and that is hardware copy protection. It's essentially a device that you would plug into the computer to make your software run. In the case of Steinberg software, you will find something called an e-licensor either that came with Cubase or that you can buy separately. And it is upon this USB e-licensor that you install a license. And you have to kind of think of it as the keys to a conventional car. In other words, if the keys aren't in the car, there's no way to start the car. Similarly, if the USB e-licensor containing the license to the Steinberg program that you want to run on the computer is not installed in the USB port of the host computer, then there's no way Cubase will start. And there are some very important things you need to know about the USB e-licensor, so let's go over them. First, this probably came with Cubase, or if you bought it separately, they do the exact same thing, but there's a couple of different versions of it. There's a somewhat older model on your left, and then there's a newer, smaller version, but they both do the same thing. They contain a license to run your Steinberg program, in this case, Cubase. But they don't act like a USB flash drive in that when you plug it into the computer, it won't mount up onto your desktop like a USB flash drive does, nor can it contain any standard computer data. All a USB e-licensor contains is the license to run the software, and that license you either downloaded when you upgraded Cubase, or if you bought it brand new, chances are it came in the box, or you bought it separately and had to download the license onto it. So there's software that goes along with this USB e-licensor, and I want to show it to you and how you can use it to solve certain problems that Cubase may be encountering. First, if you're on a Windows-based computer, you're going to go to the Start button and then go to the E section and look for eLicensor Control Center. Or if you're on a Mac computer, you can go to the Go pull-down menu and go to Applications, and then you can look for the eLicensor Control Center software right here. Either way, you're going to double-click the program to launch it, and the first time you run it, or every consecutive time you run it, it's going to ask you if you want to perform these online maintenance tasks. And to do this, you'll need to have your host computer connected to the internet. Without it, this process won't be able to run. So I'm not going to perform the maintenance tasks right now, because that'll just take some time. And it's important to do this from time to time. So you'll want to load the eLicensor Control Center software and perform these maintenance tasks. If you've turned off this window to start every single time you load up the program by turning off that little checkbox, and you wanted to get back to the maintenance window, you can just click the maintenance button right here. But what it's going to do is make sure that all of your licenses are up to date. And that's important, especially if you're experiencing any sort of problems with Cubase running or you're getting strange messages when you try to launch the software. So it's important to run those maintenance tasks, but also make sure that your e-licensor software is up to date because it doesn't auto-update itself. So to get to it, you go under the Help menu and choose Download Latest eLicensor Control Center Installer. And that will launch your browser. In my case, I'm on a Mac with Safari. So it just downloaded it, and I can go to my Downloads area right here and click on it. And then here's my eLicensor Control program. So that's how you can do it from inside the eLicensor Control Center software. But there's another way to do it, and that is from inside of Cubase. If I go over to Cubase here, when Cubase is running, you may have this new project window, and you won't be able to get to the hub. You'll notice that these things are grayed out, so make sure that you close the Steinberg hub just by hitting cancel, and then go to the hub, choose support, and then download latest eLicensor Control Center software. That's what ELCC stands for. And when you do that, it will launch your browser again, and it may download it automatically, or it will take you to a window where you can choose which version you want to download. So in this case, I'm going to go to Current Downloads, and then choose either the eLicensor Control Center software for the Mac, or the same version for Windows, depending on which kind of computer you're using. So that's the eLicensor. Next, let's talk about registering your software. 